So what do you say about an athlete who decided to only play organized hockey late in his teen years and eventually became one of the most respected defensemen in NHL history? Well, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we're going to talk about the legend uh, Pierre Pilat. Now, Joseph Albert Pierre Paul Pilat, born the 7th, December 11th, 1931 in Kanagami, uh, Quebec, uh, played uh, several uh, key seasons in the NHL. He was a perennial all-star, but was most notably for the Chicago Blackhawks, where he was captain for seven uh, seasons. Now, his family, uh, again, was born in Quebec, but he moved to Fort Erie when he was 14 years of age. Now, because his local rink collapsed in a storm, he didn't play his first organized hockey game until he was 17. He played pickup, obviously, in you know, the rural contests on the local ice flows. He did decide to try out for Niagara Falls Junior B team as a center, but was turned down because he, the club needed a defenseman instead. Pilat, the very determined, he said this in published reports many times, he decided to practice as a defenseman and joined the team the next year. Now, the great Rudy P uh, Pilas recruited Pilat to the St. Catherine's Teepees of the OHA, and he made the team out of training camp in 1950. Now, Pilat eventually played four full seasons for the minor professional club, the uh, Buffalo Bisons of the AHL, and uh, during his fifth season, he was signed, officially signed by the Blackhawks, uh, starting his formal professional career. Now, Pilat became a preeminent star for the Blackhawks, winning the James Norris Memorial Trophy as the NHL's most outstanding defenseman from 63 to 65. A feat match was surpassed only by Doug Harvey, Bobby Orr, and Nicholas Lindstrom in NHL history. He was runner-up in 62, 66, and 67. And this uh, great play allowed him to be inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1975. He was on the first or second All-Star team every year from 60 to 67. And he also had one of the best Ironman streaks of his era as he skated in 376 straight games over uh, five seasons. He was often paired with the other legendary uh, Chicago defenseman, Elmer Moose Vasco, on the Chicago Blue Line. Now, in 61, the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup. Now, during the offseason, team captain Ed Lidzenberger was traded, and Pilot was named team captain. He held his role with the, t the squad until he was traded in a controversial deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs in 68 for forward Jim Papton. Now, his seven-season tenure as captain was... Uh, unsurpassed until John Tadez broke the record in 19 in 2017. Now Pilat's single season with the Leafs was his last one before retiring. He played his last contest on April 6, 1969. Uh, finished his career with 80 goals and 418 assists in 890 games. At the time of his retirement, he was the second leading scorer in NHL history, behind Doug Harvey as well as sixth leading career score for the Blackhawks and second in all-time assists behind Stan Mikita. Now, he currently uh, remains eighth in all-time assists for the Hawks. Now, in, in 1997, uh, uh, more recognition came his way. He was ranked number 59 on the Hockey News' list of the 100 greatest hockey players. Now, on July 18, 2008, the Blackhawks announced that his number three jersey worn by Pilat and Keith Magnuson, would be retired in a joint ceremony. The sixth number so honored by the club. Uh, this Now, this ceremony was held before the Blackhawks game against the Bruins at the United Center. United, United Center. In January 2012, Pilat was also honored with a bronze statue in front of the jean Pierre Sports Palace. In fall of uh, 2003, the great uh, sports publication, uh, uh, House ECW Press publishes biography Heart of the Blackhawks the Pierre Palat story co-written with L. Waxy Gregoire and David Dupuy uh, unfortunately Palat is not around to uh, get more accolades because he unfortunately died of cancer on September 9th uh, 2017 now his playoff numbers were also strong in the 61 playoff run he took the team on his shoulders in many ways. He had 15 points in 12 playoff games, 3 goals and 12 assists, and uh, even in the 62 cup run, 
he was uh, also significant with seven uh, points in 12 games. Um, th- his big season, of course, uh, his big offensive season was 65, where he had 59 points, including 14 goals in 68 games. So a tremendous defensive defenseman, tremendous offensive uh, defenseman when needed, and the respect has been there since the first time it came came to note that, you know, he only really was serious about the sport uh, at age 17, and that shows you that's a tremendous result. He could have been great uh, at whatever he chose. I guess he was an all-around natural athlete, and the results proved that. So that's the legend of Pierre Pilat. Please give me a like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you for the support on his podcast channel. And again, this request for one of our good friend of the channel, Travis Cook. Thank you, Travis, for your input. And uh, thank you to all the other people who have been commenting and suggesting a podcast. We do appreciate it because it's a team effort here as the expansion of the uh, award-winning sports file column that my readers throughout the, the province and the Maritimes have supported since 1986. So uh, this is just a continuation of the great love of hockey we all share. Have a good day. Bye.